Hello friends, I'm Smita from the blog Smiling Colors and I'm sharing my very first knitting video today. I'm using 12 colors of yarn for this blanket, two shades each of pink, yellow, orange, green, blue and purple. I mixed and matched two different yarns, Lion Brand's Hometown USA yarn and Lion Brand's Vanna's Choice yarn. You can find a list of the exact yarn colors I used below in the description box and also on my blog. I have 80 stitches casted on here on a US size 17, that's a 12.5 mm circular needle. The circular needle is just to accommodate the large number of stitches, but we'll be knitting back and forth itself, not in a circle. Now let's talk about the pattern. I knitted this rainbow blanket with a stitch that I created that kind of looks like a slant stitch and it's easier to knit and show while explaining it. Right now I'm changing colors from green to blue here. Knit to the first stitch, then the pattern begins. Without knitting, slip one stitch and next make one stitch by knitting into the front and then the back of the same stitch. So now we have two stitches created instead of one. Now with your left hand needle, pick the slip stitch and pass it over the two stitches we just made and that creates the slant we just repeat this over and over again. I'll show you this one more time here. Slip one stitch, next knit into the front and back of the same stitch, that is a make one. You're increasing the stitch by one, so instead of having one stitch we have two stitches now. Next with your left hand needle pick up the slip stitch and pass it over the two stitches we just made. Usually when a pattern calls for a PSSO, that's a pass the slip stitched over, we slip the stitch over one stitch. It's very similar here but we are passing it over two stitches instead of one. For this blanket I wanted to create a textured chunky blanket and that's how I ended up creating the stitch. So this is the pattern row. You repeat this for the entire row and the next row is just a purl and then we have a row of knit and a row again of purl. I will have a downloadable pattern for this blanket with the number of stitches needed, the measurements of the finished project and yarns used on my blog. Look in the description box below for the link. Once this color block is done, I will be switching to a lighter color. This is one, this one is Vanna's Choice. Now this yarn is thinner than the yarn I'm right now using which is Hometown USA. So I will be doubling up the yarn, that is I'll hold two strands of yarn held as one together while knitting. Other than that, the whole pattern is the same and the two gauges match up really nicely. This pattern creates a nice texture and detail to the blanket and also prevents it from curling like the stockinette stitch does. You can see here the corners are crisp and stay sharp at 90 degrees. And here's a look at the finished rainbow blanket. It is chunky and oh so colorful. There is a light and dark shade for each color, but you could do this with just 6 colors instead of 12. I love this stitch, it's pretty easy and knits up very quickly. The finished blanket is a perfect size for an adult to snuggle into and read a book. If you are interested in making such quick blankets, stop by my blog where I have made and shared lots of such hand knit projects before. Thank you very much for spending some crafting time with me today friends. If you have any questions or if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or do leave a comment below and share it with your friends.